course, they're free uh, in various locations, and uh, the artists who participate in those, they really do it for the love of jazz and because they want to bring music to the community. So for those artists who are with us here today, please, when I talk about your event, call your name, stand up, wave, take a bow, play a diminished ninth. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds good. Uh, but no, we really appreciate having you here, so please stand up and, uh, and let us thank you. We're going to kick things off on Sunday, May 2nd at the Beverly Hills Civic Center in the plaza there with two very special performances. Uh, the Bill Cunliffe Septet. Yeah! And I believe Bill is here. There he is. Yeah. We have to thank Residence Records and George Flavin for making that happen. And I think George is here too. Here you are. Thank you, George. And thank you to Johnny Crawford. He will also be performing in Beverly Hills. And I don't think I saw Johnny. But uh, thank you, Johnny, for participating this year at Beverly Hills. Yes. The second event in the community event series is at Woodland Hills for Playboy Jazz at Warner Center Park. Uh, and this year we are in Warner Center on Sunday, June 6th. Uh, and we're actually adding an hour to the program this year because the Valley Cultural Center uh, is really adding a lot to enhance the overall experience. Uh, they're going to have a wine and beer garden, more than 20. Uh, food stations from local eateries, uh, as well as a uh, local fine art exhibit. Um, so we will be there from 4.30 to 8.30 on June 6th. Now, the uh, artists playing in uh, Woodland Hills are amazing. We have, we have an artist who we will announce in April. Um, this artist is playing locally around that time, so that's your hint. Uh, but look out for April when we'll make the announcement of, uh, of one of those uh, performers. We also have Lau Tizer and his band, and I think Lau is here today. Lau, where are you? <laughs> Headlining will be Sal Marquez and his trio. Is Sal with us today? Thank you, Sal. Uh, and kicking things off in Woodland Hills is the Calabasas High School Jazz Band uh, with their director, Joshua Barrel. Uh, and these guys could really play. Last year they were a finalist in the Essentially Ellington Jazz Festival. Uh, in New York, so make sure you get there early and check out the, the uh, Calabasas High School Band. The final event in the community event series is Jazz on Film, and we're really pleased to announce that the event will take place uh, in a new location at the Ebony Repertory Theater in the Nate Holden Performing Arts Center. Uh, and that's on June 10th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, and Mark Cantor will present his Jazz on Film program. And I believe Ren Brown is here. There he is. Moving on to the weekend at the Bowl, uh, this year we're at the Hollywood Bowl on June 12th and 13th, which is the weekend before Father's Day. Uh, and here to announce the lineup, possibly alone or not, <laughs> not alone, she makes the festival happen once again this year from Festival West. Give it up for Dar